All right, welcome back to Relax Corel channel. You can call me Corel or Kila. Um, today we are going to introduce to you guys um, a brand new motion capture sensors called Mokopi. Uh, Mokopi is created by uh, Sony and you could actually use it everywhere just pair it with your Android phone or iPhone. And it costs around less than 400 bucks, which is Yomayen in Japan. Um, I don't think it's shipped to uh, US yet, uh, but uh, maybe you could buy it online or find somewhere else to get it. Um, maybe in the future, uh, I'm sure in the coming future, uh, you will be able to purchase it uh, in US. But um, so today's tutorial will be covering how do you set up things and how do you wear it, the mocap, and how do you connect to the, your VR chat and able to use it uh, eventually on your computer. You could actually not use in real time, but also use in a BVX file format, export it, and just use for like normal motion capture on animation too. All right, so all right, let's go to the other section. All right, so we're gonna talk about how do you set up your sensors, Moco P. So first, you wanna make sure everything is in your box. Um, mine's all turned on. Um, if you didn't pair up with your Moco P yet, uh, you need to follow the instruction on your app. Um, they'll ask you to press the head, and then you press hat and then uh, your wrist and then you press on the wrist um, on the right on your wrist and then your hip and your ankle and ankle so you press it correspondingly and select it and afterward you'll be able to pair it uh, this is really straightforward um, after that you will come to the screen of the sensor status uh, what you need to do is don't put on your body yet leave it on your table um, like I do leave it on the case and then just press connect sensors because you do not want to move them when they're doing calibration all right so great my hip sensor got calibrated uh got connected my wrist arrow is okay and my wrist l is okay ankle arrow ankle l all done awesome all right, so we got this first step done. Um, they should turn green with a green notification after you uh, pair it correctly. Um, I use, again, I use Android and iPhone and, and iPhone works best for me in this step. All right, I press confirm. And now it will show you the screen of the straps and sockets. So make sure um, you put on the table, you can put everything uh, one by one first or I, you could just wear it like me I do uh, after you do a couple times so I'm gonna put my wrist uh, my wrist on over here just snap it on like mallet so convenient I really like the design to be honest uh, make sure your hat is not uh, in the front but uh, in the back so I wear it in the back just rotate it because it's magnet so you'll fit it for me automatically great so I got my hips um, on the back over here on my spine over here yeah, step it on and then I got the left and the right on my ankle so make sure your ankle uh, um, when you wear it is not facing this way but facing this way uh, for the socket um, all right so I I got everything now. I got everything set up. Now it's all cool. I'm gonna press next. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. And what this show on the screen is you put it on and when you take it out, you press on the on the button thing over here and then you could just take out the manic. All right, so um, attaching sensor, uh, I attach already, uh, but you guys could uh, attach it now after you put on the wristband. And keep in mind the wristband, uh, I also show in the screen um, on the phone, the short one is for the wrist and the long one for the ankle. And of course, um, for the hip, there's no strip, you just clip on it. Um, and the head one is obvious. All right, so afterward I put my height, uh, I'm around 173, so uh, I put it in. And this is the tricky step. I swear I failed so many times at first um, and I want you guys to um, see this like so so how you do the calibration is 
um, you see I'm I'm over here. I'm I'm standing over here right now. You need to press start calibration and step quick when you hear a song. So if you're muted on your phone, uh, unmute it, and and it should work. Uh, and you will hear it. Um, I turn on my notification. I unmute my phone and I press start now, and you will hear something. Sounds right. All right, I made it. So you see, I instead of you would go one, two, three. No, 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 no. And you, you only do one step, and then immediately you go back to the sample standing position, and then you will make it work. I I try so many different ways. I try a bigger step, longer time, didn't work. I try a, I tried to walk and it didn't work. And it's it say one step, so it's actually one step. All right, so you should able to see my phone screen that I'm with my character that. That is like already following my uh, motion, which is nice. <coughs> There's a lot of features here. Um, you're able to put your avatar uh, in the Mokopi folder, in the root folder. Just put in your VLM and go to the avatar. And then you're able to choose your avatar. I choose my avatar called Kira Dragon. Um, you can convert to VLM if you need a tutorial, let me know. But um, there's a lot of tutorial out there. You guys could uh, have a look. And on the other hand, there's the background um, that you could change. You know, sometimes you make a YouTube video, short video, TikTok video, you want to have a green bag. Now you have a green bag, ta-da, right? And then you could also like save it, export to uh, capture the motion and uh, export, export to B BVH file, right? So that's good. So oh, we'll just do a quick demo on how to record it. Just, there's two ways, there's the video one, uh, and there's the motion one. Uh, I'm most interested on the motion one, so capture that. Three, two, one. All right. So left hand, right hand, yeah. And right leg, left leg, yay! All right. So I got this motion. You know, it's it's pretty nice. Um, the response is really fast when I use the iPhone. When I use my Fold Free Android, uh, it give me like two seconds of delay, so I feel weird when I look at myself. Uh, and Right now, I'm not mirroring myself, but I can mirror myself too. So, and there's also lip sync for my character. You you could just stream video from your phone like that, which is really nice. Um, and as you can see, man, I'm raising my right hand, like it's, it's, it's not mirror to me. And I could just put, press on the mirror button and then it will mirror to my motion, which is great. Uh, and I could save, uh, save on the file. Uh, and then you can just save the BVH file, so which is awesome. All right, so the next thing uh, we're going to uh, connect to VL Chat. All right, so we are in VL Chat. All right, awesome, awesome. We're in VL Chat now, and you can see uh, I'm with my avatar, and uh, I'm. I'm also uh, inside VR chat. Actually, let me change my avatar. Is my menu okay? So I need to put it here, menu, menu, and then you should go to option, and then go OSC, and then go enable. All right, so now we enable our OSC. Let's go to the next step. All right, so after you on your OSC, if this is your first time, you see the Windows Defender, you say, we actually want to do it, and you say, okay, um, yeah, you can. I'll give you permission. Um, please don't mind my computers in Japanese, but you have our permission. First, we're going to go to the, make sure your top is motion, and instead of save, you're gonna choose sanding, and then we're gonna choose settings, and then we're going to make sure your IP address is correct. And you could do the IP config on your PC screen over here. And in my case, it's 50.144. I put on my application and then choose VL chat. Make sure your file all, firewall is off. If it's blocking you, that's OK. Go back to settings and make sure your button is green and press go. 
And then now, three, two, one. And then I press allowed. And then now it just sends signals to my VR chat. And now I go back to my menu. Um, I go to calibrate FBT. I'm going to choose it, calibrate full body tracking. I'm going to do, wait, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. All right, I think my mic my, my might be blocking me, so I'm going to put it up. But you can't see my face, but I'm, I'm, I'm lining up my hand with the, my, my avatar. All right, so yay! I got my character. Uh, now I figured a problem. Uh, basically, when I was doing the calibration, I'm using my Kira Dragon character, which is a short character, and it sends this OSC signal really, really short uh, when I debug it. And I found out that um, when you want to work it correctly, you need to use um, the proper character uh, in your in your Mocopy application to send the proper height for the signal. I guess this also gives a hint uh, when you use um, the different character, maybe you could actually change a different um, VLM character to larger. Um, actually, just to testing, I'm going to go back to my Kira Dragon. All right, so it works. Yeah, let's dance, 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 dance. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yep, it works. <laughs> Yo! Man, body checking is fun. I'm gonna change to um, the avatar system that I created. I'm uh, my company. Then McAvatar. Use McAvatar. Let's see. Yo, man. Hey, make after support full body tracking. Kick, kick, kick. Yo. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And um, it was fun to show the uh, full body tracking and it was fun to make it work and debug it too. All right, and hopefully this video might help you uh, to use the uh, MocoP motion capture in real chat or maybe in uh, other of your MetaHuman projects or maybe other character projects. All right, cheers.